Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying an MRE for you. These were bought at Ozark Outdoors on Amazon, and I will have a link in the description below. This is actually uh, from Mill A. This is menu uh, number eight, uh -huh. Mill eight. This is meatballs and marinara sauce, and I'm gonna start opening it while you talk. About price. Um, about well, I, I never mentioned price just because the link is in the description below, yeah, and I, I mean, don't. Where you buy? I don't. Um, I don't remember how much we paid for it. We, you could choose to buy menu A and menu B uh, separately, or you could buy them together. Um, we bought them together just so we could try them for you. There are 12 meals in each box. 12 in menu A, 12 in menu B. And so we're going to do all the menu A first. And there are it's a struggle. They're, they're <laughs> different meals. Right. They're all different meals. Yep. So you get 12 different flavor meals in, in each box. Okay. And we will be using scissors. Um, and if you've watched all the MRE videos, then a lot of what I say at the beginning is the same. And I apologize for that, but it's going to be the same for 24 videos. Um, but I, the this is like a box opening to us. It's all a surprise once you open yeah, up the package. You don't know what you're so I haven't taken pictures of any of the individual packages with calories and nutritional information or anything like that. And MRE is like a box of chocolate. You never know what you're gonna get. So I'm um, we're being careful cutting them open so that I can get pictures of calories. That's what I'm getting at. And normally you would have a canteen that gives you uh, the water levels and all that. We have a bottle of water here, just which has worked really good. Because yeah, it has worked really well. Because most of the drinks that we've been getting, you get like two liquids, and we use like half and half, half the. Um, about half for each one. So this is the marinara sauce with meatballs, and I know you're gonna want to get started on the heat. Yeah, I didn't know. Uh, I didn't put my glasses in here, so I'm gonna let you read everything. Oh, good, great. Okay, <laughs> let's see. Okay, here's the heat pack. So before I introduce anything else, I'm gonna. What let is you in that pack? This is garlic mashed potatoes. <laughs> The reason Kevin's laughing is <laughs> because Tammy doesn't like mashed potatoes. At all. And especially I mean, cold. She I mean, doesn't this, like homemade, hot, buttery mashed potatoes. The ones so. that people consider good, I don't like those. So imagine how I'm going to feel about cold mashed potatoes. I like garlic, but um, <laughs> if there was, was any funny. way at all to heat these up. We'll do our best. Please. Okay. The garlic mashed potatoes. Sorry, that was funny. I'm going to say calories once so we don't have to say it again. Well, no. I'll say calories when we get it out. That oh. way you, you won't forget by the time we do it. Let me see. I need to put the water in. I know. Too. Just hold on. Let me see if I can. We must be getting coffee this time. Usually they give you this little beverage bag, hot beverage bag, when they give you coffee. So, yeah, there's a package of coffee in our. Okay. Better chocolate hot chocolate. See, you can't fit Buffy. I have never been able to work out, and the guys in the military hopefully can. can of course, it might be done by the, by the time this gets posted. But I cannot figure out how to get two of these in there. So I've just been putting one of these in the heat pack and the other one like on the outside and doing the best we By can. By the time so, these post, we will probably have gone through every one of the MRAs. Yeah, and unfortunately so, you won't be able to help. You won't be able to help. But <laughs> and, you can and still I even leave looked a comment it up. for somebody else. Yeah, but I even looked it up on, online. You know, I've watched other people make these and nobody ever sticks two in there. So I, right. need to, I need to do some more investigation maybe before the next But one. if so, nobody sticks two in there, then you're not doing anything wrong. The few I've watched, yeah. So I'm just gonna work with it. So the meatballs and marinara, I'm gonna stick in the bag Please. and then I'll stick the potatoes. We can lay it on the outside or something. Yeah, we'll, we'll, and we'll cross try. our fingers. Okay, so you rip the small one off the top and then it's got a little two little black lines. You get your water somewhere between them. And it is kind of, uh, it doesn't take much. I mean, it's like a splash of water and that's about it. That's what I'm saying. Half the water bottle is really for the two drinks because you don't put 
much at all in here. This, Check that. I mean, just a touch more. I mean, literally, just a. That's it. Okay, so you get your water between your lines. You slide your. And some people, um, they they put this in there first, yeah. and then they pour the water in, and then they uh, and then they just slide it down. But I've never had any luck doing that. Okay, so slide your heat pack and your food down at the same time. Sometimes it doesn't seem as hard it's as this. This sometimes. seems like uh, it's being more there difficult. All right. So I've got my heat pack kind of down at the bottom. Try not to get it wet, because once it gets wet, it starts getting hot. Okay. This is the most time consuming part of the mail right here. So you it's fold it over on the opposite side and then you, you kind of tilt your water back and forth to where it soaks into that heat pack. And once it gets wet, it activates and it'll start getting hot. Okay. Slide it in your cardboard sleeve. Yeah, if the bags, if they had a separate bag for the two meals that was just a little, I mean, just a little bit wider, um, it would, I could get both of them in there, but. Can you put it in there? I'm gonna slide this into this against the heat pack on the other side of that bag, and it should help a little bit at least. And then you prop it up on a rock or something like that. We've just got a paper towel here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna prop it up with the heat pad on the bottom. Okay. Right. Okay, we have a chocolate chip cookie. Ooh, that's good. We have uh, cheese spread with jalapenos, and it says need package before opening. I'll work on that. We have a beverage based powder tropical punch. We have Italian breadsticks. Mm. And what is this? Kippered beef snack? What is a kippered beef snack? It's just, kippered is the fly. It's like beef jerky. Oh, okay. And then in our accessory pack, you do have a spoon. You have toilet paper and a moist towelette. It's you have all of them, I think. Splenda, creamer, coffee, instant coffee, salt, and chewing gum. Okay. So we are going to do. The let's coffee. do the two drinks. Okay. So I can measure out the. What we usually do is for the coffee, we'll put it in this hot bag just to measure it out because we can, we can figure out how much it is. Yes, it, it says six ounces. Six ounces. Yeah. So these have lines on them to measure them out. So two cups to the bottom. And then I can put it in the cup if you want. We tried heating up the water in the in the heat pack at one time, but it didn't, it didn't work out good, did it? No. I mean, it just didn't do anything. Oh, I made a spoon. Here's your coffee. I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna be careful opening this creamer because I need to keep the calories off of it. There's your creamer. And then here's the Splenda. You know the Splenda has a nutritional information on it? Oh, so right. I'm gonna keep it too. Go ahead and give me this. Go ahead and pour the sugar in. I'm gonna or the Splenda. That'll just these will dissolve pretty quickly. This creamer takes forever to dissolve. It, it comes does. up more than anything. So I'm gonna try to go slow. And so, uh, so you can go ahead and be the the, the Splenda is uh, zero calories in case you're curious. And the creamer, Kevin has the creamer. I yeah, think the creamer is like 20 calories. Uh, the tropical punch, you add it to half a canteen or 12 ounces, and that's probably about how much we have here because well, we the, use six because it didn't take much for the so coffee. that it's a little less than that because I use six for the coffee. One pouch of this fruit juice is 130 calories. That works so much better pouring it slowly. And it still clumps up, but it's not as bad. If you pour it all in at once, it's got big balls of uh, clumpy creamer in here. So it may take a little longer. But this, I'm going to have to do it in a cup. Yeah. Because it's different. How many calories is the creamer? The creamer is like tw 20. 20. That's what you thought. 
Yeah, that works much better. Normally when they give you a drink packet, uh, a drink packet, normally when they give you an accessory packet, that came very close to filling. Um, they, normally when they give you an accessory packet, they give you the, um, the little sleeves of powder like you would buy for yourself at home. Uh, and I like those better because you can pour them right into the Directly water bottle. Water. But this, since the, uh, it's such a big packet, it's easier just to pour it into a, a cup. And you all can see it better that way anyway. Look, no clumpy creamer. Oh good. Is it because you stir it? So st that? Really stir it while you're doing it and it's it goes a lot better. You wanna try your coffee first or this? We, uh, we'll just try whatever. We need to work this around a little bit. Okay. You wanna do this? Okay. Whatever you want to try. I swear, it tastes just like hospital coffee. Just like out of a machine, I'm telling you. Any machine, if you, if you go to a car lot and you're getting your tires, new tires on your car and you're sitting there for a while, they have a coffee maker, that's what the coffee tastes like. It's they, amazing how little you get. I know. Not very much at all, it's a very tiny amount. I guess that's just to give you the flavor of coffee if you like coffee. It's amazing that this is a, a 130 calories. Well, it needs a little more water in here. It probably needs another two or three ounces of water in here to make it what they recommend. Yeah, but I didn't think it was that sweet. For me, it wasn't that sweet. It was oh, like, it's not it, sweet at all. It was all right. It's it's okay. It would be I would be happy with it out in the field. Yeah, but it's not that sweet. It's kind of tart. Um, okay. Do you want to try the beef? Stick? Yeah, let's do the beef. Yeah, because you love. It beef doesn't stick. sound um, appealing at all. <laughs> Kipper beef. Um, it is 80 calories. And it's probably just a little meat stick on it. Oh! Okay, so you open up that pack and it's in a, a Bull's Original Beef Stick. Yeah. Chunked and formed smoke flavor added. Chunked and formed. Okay, so I'm going to keep this package as well because it has uh, some stuff on it. I might have to cut it on the side though. I got it. Oh, you mean to get it? I think no, I got no. it. Okay. Sometimes they're so tightly uh, shrink, well, shrink wrap to it. it that, slid off the back. Yeah. Okay, it doesn't smell bad. It smells like a beef jerky stick. And, and I, I eat beef jerky, but normally I eat the stick. It tastes like a stick, honestly. Mm. It does taste like a stick. Mm hmm. I prefer it in stick form. Yeah, it has a little casing on it, a little yeah. kind of snap to it. I prefer it in the stick form, but it actually has a good flavor. Do you want to try the chocolate chip cookie or the breadsticks? Why don't you try the breadsticks? Let's bread do stick. the breadsticks and the. Sorry. We're going to need another bowl too because yeah, we will need another bowl. While you're opening that, I'll get a bowl. Okay, so you have the Italian breadsticks is 190 calories but that's for the uh that's for the whole container you know the bowl for the mashed potatoes but you'll love you're gonna love these mashed potatoes i might <laughs> you never know that looks okay. just like the bread you make uh, the peanut butter and jelly sandwiches on well but it's perforated so you get that's the only different and it has a garlicky smell and you get four sticks and i'm assuming when you open this up oh, you dip yeah, you it into your or squirt it on there yeah oh yeah uh one this is the um cheese spread with jalapenos and it is 180 calories so we're going to try the cheese bread on the breadsticks Although you could do the cheese in in the whatever, I mean, you could put it on whatever you wanted. You could. Yeah. Well, well, how were you? No, it? that's what I would do too. Okay. That's fun. So this is how I would eat it. I would t just keep it in my hand like this and put it on one piece at a time. But I'm assuming you can dip these in your meatballs too. Mm -hmm. In your marinara sauce. That cheese is, is so hot. We've had one of these before. 
and it's hot. No, I didn't get that. Maybe I didn't put as much. Wow. Well, that garlic breadstick is, is just okay. I don't really care for it. It's got a very strong spice in there. I don't know what it is, but it's really strong. And I like it. Do you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it's good. I, well, me and you would be trading mashed potatoes and breadsticks. Would definitely. I would definitely <laughs> give you my mashed potatoes for your breadsticks because I really like the breadsticks. I like the jalapeno and cheese. I think that's delicious. Did you get a really spicy? It's hot. very spicy. It's, it's hot, hot, but I like it. Um, We're still letting the, the, the stuff heat up. So Yeah, we want it to be a, give it a chance to get hot. This is the chocolate chip cookie. See, normally you would save this for last, or I would. Uh, it's 280 calories. But yeah, if you want your food to be hot, then uh, you, you're t worth the wait. Now this is um, crumbly. in two pieces. It's actually better better shape than I would have thought it would be. Yeah, it, but it's a gigantic... Yeah, it's a big cookie. Gigantic cookie. Mm. That's good. Mm -hmm. It's not a super sweet cookie, but it's a good. It's mm -hmm. it's okay. If you're out camping, you'll you'll love it. You'll appreciate it if you're if you um, or you're in the military. Or in the military and you're eating this. Yeah, I'd say you'd be like, hey, cookie. Oh yeah, you would really appreciate mm -hmm. this. Maybe okay. so a little plain for us at home, but let's try the meal now. Come on, get your bowls. We have two bowls. Normally, you would eat these out of the package. But we want to be able to show you what they look like, and at the end, you know, I'll take a picture, all that. Then normally you're going to tear it right across the top, and you would just eat it right out of the right out of the package. But like you said, wow, the garlic is so strong. Oh, that does not look good. <laughs> it's crumbly. Yeah, it is crumbly. I'm not used to seeing crumbly mashed potatoes. Yeah, we'll just use that spoon for that one. The garlic is so strong. Should we go ahead and try okay. these? Go ahead. Let me get a... Yeah, the hot pack is definitely hot. You can Which smell I'm surprised that. that doesn't get hotter by sitting on there. Yeah. You could just use that one spoon. It's okay, because then you have to have your own spoon for that. No. <laughs> um, that garlic, wow, it's a strong garlic. I wouldn't eat those either. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so when we rake these at the end, the mashed potatoes will reduce Tammy's oh. rating by at least one point. Mm. You don't know how hard, hard that was. I, yeah, and I will not take another bite of this. <laughs> you don't know how hard that was for me to not get up and go to the garbage can or gag. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> just, just the texture alone of the mashed potatoes. Oh gosh, it's just. Terrible. Terrible. Sometimes these not. And then the, the flavor. I like garlic, but gosh. Yeah, gosh. that tastes like really old, cheap garlic, doesn't oh, it? Oh, that was horrific. I mean, that's bad. And just how it's crumbly, you'll see it's, it in the picture. It's very, I mean, that package feels pretty good and hot, you know? I mean, that's, that's pretty hot. It, and it wasn't, even, it wasn't even about temperature. It's just about... Well, I don't think it would have been crumbly. Even if it was hot, I wouldn't have liked it. I would not have liked it, even if it was steaming. It's just a terrible. I think being crumbly, though, is a result of it being uh, cold. I wouldn't eat those. If I was out and I had hiked all day, I would not eat those. I would rather, even if there was nobody to trade with, I would rather pitch these in the bushes <laughs> then eat them. Now the that, that's how much I did not like those. Terrible. We do have salt, but... Um, no amount of salt is going to help those potatoes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you did not like them at all? I didn't like them either, but for me it was all about the coldness and, and, 
it's not that cold mashed potatoes really turn me off, but that garlic taste in there is just too much for it's me. It's too strong, and yeah. you like garlic too. Yeah, that tastes like old garlic though. Now, this is meatballs and marinara, decent sized meatballs. I mean, they're they're about the size of a what a, I don't know, a marble or something. Yeah. And they're, they're, it's warm. Mm. Hmm. I like that a lot. That's good. It reminds me of a... Um, it's good on the breadstick, too. Chef Boyardee beef, um, beefaroni or whatever. That kind of uh, texture, which I don't necessarily like, but um, the, in the Chef Boyardee stuff, these aren't bad. Mm -mm. I mean, I would eat them. I would eat that. I would eat those anytime. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think those, that, that's not a bad amount. Hmm. The spaghetti part. Yeah, the, the, let's see, the spaghetti, it's just meatballs. Yeah, the meatballs, sorry. The, the meatballs and marinara. Normally and, you have spaghetti, but. And if you had any breadsticks left after you use, after you eat all of the cheese, then I would dip the rest of the breadsticks in the marinara. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that's what they intend you to do. This is just the gum. Soon. Mm hmm. Which is good. Mm. We've had this gum several times now. Mm hmm. It's very good. I like it. It starts tough, softens up as you're chewing it. Um. Okay, we had coffee, fruit juice, a meat stick, a cookie, breadsticks, bread and, sticks cheese. and cheese, mashed potatoes with garlic. And meatballs and marinara. The only thing that was horrific was the mashed potatoes. But on a whole, mm. I'm going to give it a three. See, I'm even more leaning towards a two. I was two, but well, I do like the cookie. I do like the meatballs. I like the sticks. See, there's you, only three things I really even liked in here halfway. The meatballs were okay, mm -hmm. but I don't, I don't really like that grainy texture, but they were okay. The cookie was good, but it was kind of plain. The meat stick was the best thing out of the, out of the whole meal. Didn't like the breadsticks. Mm -hmm. The cheese is just, it's government cheese. See, I <laughs> liked more, I liked You liked more of it than, than I did. he did. Yeah. So I'm giving it a three, so I understand if he did. Yeah, I'm giving it a two because the breadsticks uh, were a no for me. Right, um, you just didn't like as many yeah. things as I did. Yeah. So it's a two for me. I wouldn't. If I could choose to eat a meal, I wouldn't get this one. Now, if I could choose to buy one, I wouldn't buy this one. There are other ones uh, that, you know, that's so why I'm far, giving it a three. Okay. There are other ones so far that we liked more. But, yeah, this one is worth a three. So, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you've ever had the garlic mashed potatoes in an MRE, please comment and tell me what you thought. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.